<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you know what it kind of looked like? It looked like a thing from the Evil Dead. You know, in the second one, where all the, the objects are moving, like the lamp's fucking laughing. It looks like that. Like, imagine having that scene with those two stools, right? But they're laughing at the same time. That's hilarious. Watch a scene that without that. That's terrifying. Not in ghosts, caught on camera. Project Ooh. Paranormal. Oh. Paranormal investigator Dave Jones from the YouTube channel Project Paranormal sent me an email about a video he received from a friend. Dave's friend says that he's been experiencing disturbing paranormal activity in his historic home in Michigan, a house that was once used as a funeral home. The man says that at all hours of the day and night, he hears the sounds of conversations, footsteps, and even the front door opening and closing on its own. In an attempt to capture some kind of evidence of the strange events, he sets up a camera in his living room and leaves to go to work. When he comes home and checks his footage, he is shocked by what he finds. Oh, it's like a shadow. Okay, just want to say really quickly, what is with this wallpaper? It's like some like really cool designs and things. I think that's either like a sphinx or some sort of harpy thing, like round about up here. That's really cool. And this looks like Robert Burns, the poet, the Scottish poet. Very strange. And he also has like a, like a really small grandfather clock. Pretty awesome. That looks like a shadow thing going across right there. A creepy shadow-like figure can yeah. be seen walking through the living room and behind the couch. Dave and his friend believe can, the apparition to be a visible manifestation of the spirit that haunts the home. About here, oh sorry, I, I, I kind of like paused it, you can't really see it, but here it's kind of like, this is like the head, and it's like the body part here. Oh, that's so cool. Whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be a normal shadow, because as you can see, it clearly passes behind the couch. But what do you think? Let me know. Down in the comments. It looks like an actual you person, like an apparition. Dave's YouTube channel. Um, apparition, rather, aspiration. Hey, get out of here, man. Hey, man. Marissa Whitehead and her boyfriend are spending the night at the in Saskatchewan, Canada. When suddenly, out of the corner of her eye, Marissa spots something odd moving in the bathroom. She takes out her phone and starts to record. Oh my fucking god, I'm not even joking, my f- <laughs> Oh shit, sorry, my- my light literally just went off there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I need to change the light bulb in my room right now, <laughs> but I'll wait until um, I'm done recording and- and stuff, but I about shat myself fucking hell. <laughs> oh wow, it was actually really creepy, it didn't just go off, it flickered like hell. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that was horrifying. Let's continue with the scary fucking videos. Oh my god. That was god awful. Sorry. <laughs> like, I'm in the dark now. I'm not going anywhere. This is perfect. Oh! What the fuck? Marissa says they checked the ceiling, but nobody was up there. And besides that, this flimsy drop ceiling would be too weak to support the weight of even- Either way, like, holy shit! Oh my god, like, that would be the worst. I think that is far worse than ghosts. And I have said that multiple videos- Well, I say multiple. You know, I have said that on pretty much every video that I've done when it comes to ghosts, that the most scariest thing is people, and that would be- Freaking terrifying. Imagine that. Imagine you just like you've just got into your um your hotel, you're like getting your you know, your bed all sorted and you're just like fucking hell, this has been a long ass trip and it's gonna chill and everything. And then that happens. You just go into the toilet, you know, and you're just having a pee and then the the ceiling moves. Holy crap, that would be terrifying. I am still freaked out by the freaking light that went <laughs> flickered and went off there. Holy shit. That was god awful. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Than the smallest person, but you do have to admire the ghost vanquishing technique of Marissa's boyfriend. That would be my scream as well. I would have screamed the same way that person did. 
<laughs> Boyfriend stunned as fuck. You think should be included in the top five? Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Passing through. W. Wahid posted a video of his nephew playing in his new light up rabbit hat at their home in Indonesia. But he caught something else that he wasn't expecting. Something downright chilling. Oh. Oh, I love this little light up like hat. It's so cute. Oh my god, that's adorable. I'm sure I've seen. Oh, holy shit, we just paused on the perfect part. Uh, I was gonna say, I've seen that like little hat on TikTok and it kind of moves and things. We're gonna go back because I just kind of buggered that up. But those little hats, um, they move them and it's like so cute. And like, there's this uh, couple that does it and um, I don't know who they are, but they're like, they dress up as like skulls and stuff like that and it's really adorable. And um, the way they like move them and stuff, they like limp sync to things and I think it's really awesome. Oh, what the hell is that? A strange misshapen dark figure seems to run by in the background. Oh. Now some commenters suggested that it could simply be another small child running past the door. But that just doesn't look like a child to me. No. It's like Chucky running along at about the speed of an Olympic sprinter. Yeah. So why he'd capture an odd shadow creature in their home or is it all just an elaborate hoax. Maybe it's like a dwarf, not it. like like a goblin or something like that. Um, Was it a goblin? You get like an imp and things like, you know, those kind of creatures. What if it's like one of that? Because you never really like hear like, you only see it a couple of times that I've seen on Nooks, that I've seen anyway, that um, they men he mentions like, um, it was like a goblin or something. There was some sort of creature from elsewhere. And, you know, you never really hear of like, f you know, folklore fairy tale ones. Well, you, can you can't hear, you can do here like folklore but i just mean like goblins like what if it was something like that and not like a, a shadow creature or a ghost nothing like that it was literally a creature from another realm and it came into our realm the, like the ley lines like they all buggered up and then it came in that way that would be really cool maybe that's what it was what they do in the shadows popular chinese ghost hunter xiao long is back with another exploration of an extremely haunted location in china a house that has been abandoned for over 20 years. This mysterious house is very different from the other local buildings around it, as it looks like something right out of a medieval fairy tale. All that is known about the large estate is that the last owner was a very wealthy man whose life was taken under very strange and tragic circumstances. The house never sold, as many bizarre rumors began to circulate that the home was cursed. Locals began to refer to the estate as, quote, the haunted house um i think he said japan i've heard and i don't know if it's completely true and you can let me know in the comments if it is i've heard like in japan that if there is a house that is um class is haunted or there is someone that's died in it and things like that the you're not it's not going to be put up for sale or anything like that and it just gets left for like years and years and years like no one can go and live in it or anything like that if it's true that is quite creepy and also like pretty bad for like you know s housing sales i suppose and in the, that sense but that would be like really uh, i suppose it can save like folk from not being in a haunted house and stuff like that you know not to get haunted by spirits but it can if that does actually happen that kind of makes sense in that um the was it the grudge the grudge movie and uh, the one the one of fuck the light just went back on <laughs> what the hell is going on Oh my god, I'm actually terrified, like, right now. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of wish that I didn't have to use my VTuber and things like that because, right, I'm going to say really quickly and it's like a tangent in what I'm talking about. The light in my, the room that I'm in, okay, the light was fine. It flickered, right, and then it went off completely in darkness and then it started like kind of flickering again just as watching the same clip and then it just didn't go back on, right, but now it's went back on as normal the light switch has not changed or anything like that i'm by myself in this room and now it's just the whole the whole room is just lit up as normal i'm freaking out what the fuck <laughs> oh god anyway so the, the, as i was saying the grudge thing um the and it's went off again it's just going on and off and on and off okay this is gonna be a fun exciting video for you guys <laughs> um basically yeah in the grudge the the family lived in it and the one that I've only seen is the Sarah Michelle Gellar one and then the sequel to that I've not seen the third one and I've never seen like the original version I've just seen those and I remember like the family lived in it 
And although the, if were, the murder from the women that was the actual ghost women, they had a family, and then there was another family that moved in afterwards that had the old lady that got cared for by Sarah Michelle Gellar's, like, as she was in her, like, an, she wasn't a nanny she, so much, she was like a, uh, a carer or something like that, I'm sure. And she looked after the old lady. So I'm just kind of wondering if that's actually true then. If they leave the house for 20 years, if it's haunted and they're not allowed to be living in it or anyone's allowed to live in it. Because if that's the case, then the garage move made no damn sense. But let me know in the comments since or I'm just talking shite. <laughs> <laughs> this is like probably going to be the most scared version of me doing these videos if this light keeps doing this because it's freaking creepy and there's no warning sign either it just it just happens because it's normal now the light's on so this is um pretty quite fitting i always have to say so Xiaolong sets out to investigate whether the building is truly haunted or if it's all just local legend that started up because of the house's odd appearance as always, Xiaolong broadcasts his exploration live to his Chinese live stream audience. Xiaolong heads inside and immediately discovers that the odd interior of the house matches the extravagant outside. And the ghost hunter gets a little creeped out by the decor. Oh, it's like no one... Yeah, like all their stuff's still there. I like the lamp. The like ceiling lamp is cool. How's our vampire lives? Ooh. <laughs> now Xiao Wang uh. begins to ask some questions directed at any spirits that might inhabit the house. But not in Chinese. Who are you? Oh, he's speaking English. I'm here. Yeah, I'm a vampire. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh I like god. the little music. <laughs> what are you doing? Isn't it strange though, in like houses like this, or even if you go to abandoned places, like all this stuff is literally left like no one's coming to pick it up or anything like they're just like in the bath there there's like a bucket there is whatever the hell that is the window i'm surprised there's no bloody curtains it's just left and then rubble is everywhere it's just so strange like that would be the case you know like why is all this stuff left there as if like they I don't know, it's just very odd, especially if there was a murder in it, like, you wouldn't think to, like, take all this stuff away, it's not like it's got tape up or anything, like, there has to be evidence or whatever, it's just so, so odd, even just putting it, like, in a trash bin or something like that, like, I put it in the bin, it's very strange. What's <laughs> this? Oh god, banging. Oh god. Oh, fuck. Fuck your mother. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Don't open it, are you s What the hell? Right, it's- Oh my god, what if a hand just appeared from those bushes? Oh, that'd be terrifying. Wait, that one's locked. That's locked as well. So no one can get in. So it's like someone. <gasps> oh. No. Wait. So they're not moving, but something's battering the window anyway. Oh, oh shit! Someone's moving it on the outside anyway. After Xiaolong asks a few wow. questions in English, a window begins to oddly shake and vibrate on its own. That's so Those creepy. Points out that the leaves behind the window don't move, eliminating the possibility that it might have been wind or a draft. Then Xiaolong hears something coming from downstairs. And things take 
a terrifying turn. <gasps> oh, what? Like what? Sure. Oh my god, what if somebody was like coming upstairs? Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck? Why are you running down the stairs? What the hell? How are they moving? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, they moved. They were moving. Two folding trestles move on their own. Oh, they're having a race. <laughs> that would be and terrifying. So, Shaolong runs over and kicks the shit out of them. Okay. <laughs> when trestles start walking about. Anyway, oh, no. Shaolong runs outside and takes a break to gather his courage. He then returns and continues to explore. On the second floor, he looks through a window and sees a car parked outside nearby. Xiaolong becomes concerned that the locals might have alerted someone about the ghost hunter's secret visit to the house. He doesn't know it yet, but that is about to be the least of his worries. Because what happens next is downright chilling. Oh, if that- if it's going to be more chilling than that, I'm looking forward to it because this is going to be creepy. Th those stools moving by themselves. What the, like afterwards it'd be like it, it looks kind of funny the fact is that it looks like having a race or something but seeing that it's you know what it kind of looked like it looked like a thing from the Evil Dead you know in the second one where all the the objects are moving like the lamps fucking laughing it looks like that like imagine having that scene with those two stools right but they're laughing at the same time that's hilarious watch seeing that without that that's terrifying although the woman that's laughing is actually really, like creepy as well but it's more funny than scary or it's kind of both it's more like creepy funny but really funny more so it's like that now i want that to happen make evil dead 4 movie wise and ash is just like after the um ash vs evil dead just like make a movie again so he's old and then the stills from that are, are laughing that would be hilarious Is that a car? There are people. What? Where? I don't s is that people with flashlights or something? Oh. <gasps> oh shit! Fuck! A shadowy figure can be seen standing at the window in the next room. Oh god! No one there. Shocked by what he's just witnessed, he once again runs outside. But he isn't yeah. done just yet. He finds that whoever had parked their car and was snooping around has left. Right. So he heads back inside to investigate once again. And it did not go well. Oh. No, don't. Why? Oh, oh, that's him. I fucking shot myself. Fuck. Oh shit, what the hell? Wait, we're going back, we're going back, we're going back. So it's behind, behind, behind. Oh, he was there. Oh, that's so scary. His reactions are making it more frightening, to be honest. Oh. Oh no, he's locked in! Holy shit! Oh no, he's not, he's not, he's not. Fuck. Yeah. He sees someone right there. Standing behind him. But when he turns around, no one there. Whoever or whatever he saw standing behind oh. him in the mirror has disappeared in a split second. So just oh, that's the creepy. capture live on camera. Are the local stories true? Is the mysterious home really haunted? Let me know what you think. You can find this video and many more of Xiaolong's explorations with English subtitles over on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. Oh, I think Who's that's what I'm going to check out as well. TikTok user Kaylin Moore from Los Angeles, California claims that an old mirror in her home sometimes shows things that just aren't there. Oh. So this is an old mirror that I upcycled and 
I swear that sometimes you can see stuff in the background of the mirror that isn't actually there in real life. So it's like in the middle world. So I'm just going to do a couple back and forths, but I'm curious to see if anyone sees anything that maybe I didn't catch. So here we go. Here's the mirror. Okay, so that's the background. It's like spot the difference. Awesome. With creepy mirror. I don't see anything different. Once again, my apartment. Alright, comment if you see anything that's out of place. Did you see it? I uh, does not. Kane's looking in the mirror, something can be seen sitting on the couch. What right the frick? Her. When she turns around, it's gone. Whatever it is, it seems to only be I did not see that. Mirror. Now, whether it's real or just another elaborate TikTok hoax, as always, I leave it up to you to decide. That's not a cow. Nuke's top five viewer Rodriguez oh. sent in a video that he recorded in the woods near his home in Texas. In the video, he explains that he and his cousin have made a, quote, base near the woods and he's attempting to show it off on camera. What happens next? Made a base, that's cool. Bizarre. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys my cool base that I made a while ago. Okay, that's cousin. awesome. I like that. It's really nice. See, we got the entrance all thing. I will say though, in the day and age and the modern technology and things like that, why is it they always have shitty cameras when it comes to these videos? And it's so nippy because I want to see all this in HD or like, you know, I know, um, like the fucking iPhone 7, that's what phone I've got anyway, isn't like the best camera, but it's better than this. Like you can tell what's in the bloody video, that's for damn sure. And this is just like a potato. I can't even tell what's going on, it's all blurry. And I've got glasses on right now, so I it's nothing to do with my eyesight. These are just really shitty quality videos. And then we're expected to see a ghost in it. Well, let's just see. Well, that stinks. But yeah, we got some chairs. Okay, I can tell the chairs, the chain link fence. What? I don't know, cause your camera sucks. Is that a cow? A cow? A cow? What is that? Like a moo moo cow. Whoa! Oh, <gasps> Whoa! Oh, a weird white humanoid figure comes crawling out of the woods and charges towards him on what appears to be oh. freakishly long arms and legs. Kyle's like the rake. Now, is the video real? Is it a hoax? You decide. But, uh, this video does have one of the best lines I've ever heard when someone encounters something paranormal. Is that a cow? Yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh, for I think it's probably a hoax because it does look quite CGI. However, if that came at you in the woods, like what would you do? Me and my partner went for a walk yesterday, right? And we um we have deers around like deer around our area and it's very like seldom you see them. So when you see them, everything like I even said this yesterday, it's like everything stops. You're just like watching this creature like doing its thing, munching on leaves. That's what I did. It was like a baby stag, so it was like a a young stag. So think in Bambi when Bambi gets older in that stage, like that. And we're just staring at it and it's like, oh my god, this is amazing. And it's all nice and quiet and we're just enjoying watching. And obviously took my phone out. Just to say by the way, deer are ridiculously good at camouflage. Because of the colour it is, it's like a very like a light brown colour. So when it's against the tree, you can't see it. I've got pictures, but it's so difficult to see. And we were saying, because he said to me yesterday, the only reason you can see the deer running is it's a little bum. It's a little white bit on its tail. It's only the way you can see it because when they go against the trees, they are like I'm I feel so bad for tigers and wolves and stuff like that. Because they basically see in like black and white, don't they? Like they don't really see the colours in the same sense that we do so <laughs> basically they have to look for prey they can't fucking see and i feel so bad for them but either way <laughs> um this like deer was just like going about and seeing that and wait i had a point what was my point um uh, basically like seeing a creature and things like that it would be really weird like, uh, sorry that was my point yeah <laughs> just to 
involved in the freaking talking about the actual deer, what actually happened to think to forget my point. Anyway, so the um the fact is like seeing a deer or whatever like that in real life because you never see it, it is like, oh my god, that's amazing. And I'm similar, um, I'm guessing it'd be similar if you saw like um a wolf or something like that or a bear in other other places in the world. So like our, like I said, the one we mainly get is like a deer for like a big animal that we would see most of the time. And if you've seen this creature in the woods, even if this is a hoax, imagine if you saw that, right? Even if this video was a hoax, pretend it's not. Your first initial reaction would be to scream, but at the same time, it would be like, like, I don't know, it would be so bizarre and weird. You would probably wouldn't just stop. I don't know, it's so weird. And I've just completely forgotten my point. I got so infatuated with the fucking deer story that I totally forgot what was actually trying to, the point I was trying to make. But yeah, you get my point. Basically, like, that's, even if it's a hoax, it's still pretty cool Like that would come out of the woods and terrifying at the same time. You know. So, it like, you're, yeah. Cow. No, it was not a cow. Observe. Even if a cow was in the woods, it'd be so weird. Like, why are you from the coming out of your farm? To explore the abandoned Warner and Swayze Observatory in Cleveland, Ohio. The impressive structure was built in the early 1900s and served as an astronomical research facility until it was abandoned in 1982. As always, Chris records his explorations to capture what's left of the historical architecture before it's too late. However, this time that's not all that he captures. Ooh. Watch closely as Chris randomly films around the outside of the observatory building. What does it say? So, Werner. Okay, so it's observatory. Okay, so this is kind of like where they would um, look at the galaxies and stuff like that. Cool. It's so pretty though, like all the woodlands around it, it's so pretty. I'd love to explore that so much in the daytime, of course. Out. Oh! So maybe there's like an alien here? Did you see it? No. Someone or something seems to be watching Chris from the bushes before seemingly Where? disappearing into thin air. Where's your red circle, Nick? Notice and has no idea what he just recorded. But later, after he posts the video, his viewers oh, I think it just moves. Comments. Here. So who? There. Or what? Is this? Oh. Let me know what you think. I don't know. You can watch even more explorations of amazing historic abandoned buildings over on the YouTube channel Urbex Hill. Back to the factory. A while ago, I featured the extremely frightening videos of Ghost Hunter ILM and Bono Paranormal who captured alleged supernatural evidence at an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. Over 60 years ago, the factory was forced to shut down after a devastating explosion claimed the lives of oh, many of the workers. I think I've seen this one. It is said that the building is extremely haunted by the restless spirits of those workers. After Bono experienced multiple terrifying events at the factory, mm -hmm. he had had enough for a while, and he decided just to take a break. But a few months have passed and the explorer is finally ready to return to the creepy old building. And things get weird. Almost immediately after Bono enters the factory, strange things start to happen. Anything changed in here? No. I just... I probably stepped in a spider web that freaked the sh out of me. Oh, especially, yeah. yeah, if your nerves are all shot and just like when you're going into something like that and then you walk into something like a spider web, like like I said like earlier, the, the light going, just starting these videos and it's just like the, the, the flicker and it's just like, ah, basically. <laughs> Step in this. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That was the scariest thing. <gasps> the loud bang would do it for me. I'd be Maybe running out of there. Bono is a bit freaked out when he accidentally walks through a spider web. Then he hears a loud bang coming from somewhere in the building and goes to investigate. Mm. What's that no for way. the wall? 
the explorer sees something out of the corner of his eye. <gasps> the window opened. A cloud of smoke can be seen oh. floating through the air. Oh, I never Otto noticed has no that. no idea what he has just witnessed, but he continues to explore. Oh. What happens next is truly bizarre. Ooh. I didn't upload for like five, six months. And you... Like, I seen that, I seen that. Get that video to 1k. Even though I didn't upload for half a year. Really we'll go back. Five, six I months, seen that. And look. You, something there. Look. Like, like look. Five, six months. And right here. Something. Somebody or something is over there. You it moves. Like really get that video to 1k. Even though I didn't upload for half a year. So thank you. And so yeah, I now want to go in. Uh in the room with the chair probably because i want to communicate with them and i think that room is good for communication i really want to communicate with a ghost too i really do but i i am scared i'm not gonna lie about that i am like terrified as well but i really want to and i'd want to like hopefully like a good spirit like a good one and i want to like ask some questions and just to like you know, just to see what they would say and what they would talk about, because that'd be really interesting. But I want to hear them because I've got really bad attention span at times, and I've got really bad, <laughs> really bad hearing at times as well, a lot of the time. So um, it can't be in the crackly way. It has to be like the way I'm speaking to you right now. They have to have like a good microphone from the other side, <laughs> and they have to like um, when I'm like talking to them, they have to like not like say it just like random words they have to be like hello and how are you or something like that because the most of the time you see these videos and they're like they're saying oh we're going to communicate with the ghost and it's just like <laughs> crackle 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 noise freaking interference blah, blah blah and then it's like hello but you can't hear the hello and it's like a <laughs> but that's just a crackle okay and it, it's like then it's then you have to think like did it say hello and then it's like no, I don't think it did, but you hope it did, and that's yeah, and it's got like subtitles and stuff like that. But I really want to talk to them, I really do. Oh, but I don't want to get like possessed, and I don't want to like get killed by it. But I really want to speak to a ghost. Imagine if you spoke to a ghost and it was a murderer. <gasps> oh, what would you do? But it couldn't possess you or anything like that. You were just talking to a murdered, <laughs> a murdered ghost, <laughs> a murdered murder ghost. <laughs> oh, what would you talk about? Oh, I'd probably ask, like, when were you alive? Or what was the last thing you remember? Or, like, what you did you do? Because imagine if you spoke to, like, a ghost from... I don't know, let's just give a random date. Let's go for, like, Victorian time, right? And that's always the thing, right? Victorian time. Or, or it could be, like, like I said last video, the caveman ghost. You can't really get much from that, but you could, like, or, 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 um, an Egyptian ghost, or a Renaissance ghost. That'd be interesting. I doubt it highly, but imagine if you spoke to, like, a celebrity ghost. Like, what the hell would you talk to them about? You couldn't actually ask for an autograph, because, um, how can they? They are invisible and transparent and things like that. Or it could be, like, in the South Park episode, when they try and, like, <laughs> they sue the guy that invented the toilet. And <laughs> then do a sue-once. Oh my god, that would be freaking awesome. They try and, I don't know if you've seen the episode, but um, they try and sue the guy that invented the toilet because one of their friends, um, Clyde, Clyde's mum dies because she's, um, she can because Clyde kept leaving the toilet seat up and then she um said like at one time that her or um her or the sister is gonna sit down and then it's gonna cause like something like really bad to happen and she does and she gets stuck in it and then they have to like flush the toilet and it like sucks up all her insides. It's really gruesome but it's funny. And um then to get back at the the invention of the toilet, they try and do a suance. So like, a seance, but it's called a suance because they're going to sue the ghost. And they get this really freaking dodgy lawyer to do it with them. And they, they, the dodgy lawyer, it basically like makes up the suance kind of thing. And um, it's just it's hilarious. And if you've not seen the episode, like definitely check it out. It's really funny. I have no idea what the, the it's called or anything like that. I don't know the title of it. It's just that's what happens, and it's funny. Check it out. But um, yeah, my whole point in it was. <laughs> Like talking to a ghost from like all these like random times, or what if you use a, a Ouija board, right? But you weren't just talking to ghosts; you were like talking to um 
like other creatures from a different realm so like you know how you get the ley lines and stuff like that when it comes to like halloween and those times of the year when it becomes less um it's less fragile and stuff like that and so you can like things come across but what if it was kind of like that but they weren't ghosts or anything they were like demons but they didn't possess you or anything like well they did possess you but they weren't like um like that it was just any creature from a different realm but that's how it communicates so in a sense it's here and it's not here so if you've seen silent hill i'm not going by the games by the way because i've not played the games i just gone by the movie and i never knew if the like knew if the games to a degree but not completely um but my partner told me about them and everything like that and i really want to play silent hill too because that's once he's mentioned and th he thinks i'd really like it but from the silent hill the movie one and i didn't understand completely the end until he explained it to me because i'd watched it years and years before i'd met him but i told him i'd watched it and he's like explain to me what happened i'm like oh i get it now so at the end if you haven't seen it basically there is silent hill is a completely different dimension and you are in one dimension of it and it's like another dimension i'm probably going to explain it so fucking badly right now but what i mean is like so say for instance i'm here in my room okay but there's another dimension exactly the same mirrored as this and some and then i'm like there as well or somebody else is there but they can come across to here but say for instance they did but i can't see them but they're here now and i can't hear them or see them or anything but they're here because there's a scene in the in the film where her husband appears in Silent Hill at the school and she's also there but she's in a different dimension part of the school and he's in the, the reality version if you will and she runs past where he is as, as if she runs past him kind of thing but he can smell her perfume and it's that kind of thing is what I mean and so imagine like if a, a creature came from the other side to ours but we can't see it that kind of thing if that makes so much sense and, and if he's understood what I meant well done <laughs> but that's what I mean I don't know whilst I have my camera on that Hello? See, it's all those bangs. I'd be so even if it's not a ghost and it's a person like a, a homeless person, that'd be so scary. Or even like a murderer. Oh no, not a ninja because ninjas would never make this much fucking noise. Did you see it? Yes, I did. Was talking to his viewers and isn't paying attention when in the back of one of the rooms, something seems to quickly hide behind a closet. I think it's a person. Away, but quickly turns back when a loud sound can be heard from the room. He decides to set up two static GoPro cameras and begins to ask questions to the spirits that might be haunting the factory. That's when the unexplained activity takes a terrifying turn. Oh my god, it's a conference! <laughs> Through the light bulb. Oh, this door is closed. Oh, he did it in the room he's in. Ah, right, okay. For a second, I thought he'd set up another camera in a different room, and that's why I was just like thinking, I said thinking in my head like why are you not leaving the room to go and check i wouldn't either but you know that's just what that's what he was doing but no that got thrown in the room he's in that's crazy oh my god no nah. i don't know if you can see it oh my god they're trying to cook Oh, okay, so it was a light bulb, it was a, a, a wall near Bono. Yeah, it was like a mug or a cup. Across the room. Now the explorer is starting to freak out from the aggressive paranormal activity, but he holds it together and continues his investigation. He heads to another room inside the abandoned factory and sets up another static GoPro camera. Again, he hears a strange noise coming from somewhere nearby. So, in this room, How much are these static GoPro so cameras? I want one. Almost stand there. Just so it's pointing. Hello? 
What if something like actually ran up the stairs at you? What would you do? I'd, I'd shut that door so fast. That flimsy wooden door would get closed like immediately. I'm scared of this. I would be too. I heard sounds from here. I swear. Oh! Hello? Hello? <gasps> oh shit! A heavy closet falls over completely on its own. Mm mm, I'd be right out there. Had enough and decides to just get out of there. So could the factory be haunted by the restless spirits of the workers who tragically lost their lives there? Probably. You yeah, but you know what's like freaky as well? Like, what if um, you were there and you were like exploring and things and then you got a fright and you ran away but then you ran away and you tripped down the stairs this is the thing like in a fright in a panic state you're not really thinking of like your own safety in a sense and you're just in a sense you are because you're running away but um, what i mean is like if you're running it down the stairs and then you trip and fall and then you hurt yourself and let's just say they're not ghosts right let's just say there are people chasing you and they're like they're with bad intentions and they're going to try and hurt you You've fallen down and you've possibly broken your ankle, you have really hurt yourself, and then what? You know, you're kind of buggered. So, like, as much as you want to go exploring these kind of things, I look at, I watch this and I obviously get, like, and it's like, very enticing and it's very, like, oh my god, this would be so much fun. But at the same time, it's also terrifying. But I, never, I was just thinking this now, like, what if you're, like, running away from getting a fright and then you hurt yourself or you fall and it just bad shit can happen, you know? You can watch all of Bono's explorations at the Haunted Factory over on his YouTube channel, ILMN Bono Paranormal, many moons ago. YouTube and TikTok user Joel Vasquez. I say that when I talk a bit, like if it's ages ago, if something's ages ago, I always go many moons ago. <laughs> Me and my partner both do it, and we love it. 3:40 a.m. He saw something very odd. Bro, y'all missed it. It's like 3.40 in the morning and I'm seeing a badass eclipse, man. Y'all uh... Man, this is crazy. What? That can't be right. Um, I know there's been an eclipse lately and things, and then before that was like, what was it, 2000 or something? That is very strange. There's an eclipse. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the moon. Oh my god! It's totally like a freaking alien spaceship going past the sun or the moon. Technically, wait a minute. How? No. Yeah, the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, if it's at night time, but no, if there's an eclipse, it's dark. Never mind. It's an alien spaceship for sure. No one else is around though. It's weird though, because there's like a moon over here. That's why I thought it was weird, but I was like, whatever. Wait a second. How can the moon be there? And it's a, like this dark. That And then it's, wait a minute. How can that happen? That's totally fake. It has to be fake. How can the moon be there? Not just that in general, but the sun would be out. If the moon is ali alive, if the moon is around and it's that dark outside, the sun would be in like the other side of the world and lighting up other people's days. That is so bizarre. Because even if it wasn't the case, and it was actually a spaceship going past the sun, it would be daytime. There would be no other moon. Right? So I'm honestly not sure what to think of this video. I don't think it's real. YouTube viewers are divided. Some appreciate the funny commentary, and others believe that Joel has witnessed everything from an alien spaceship. To I think it's a spaceship, for sure. Some even claim to have seen the exact same phenomenon in San Antonio and other cities across Texas. So is it real or just a funny and well done hoax? I think it's a hoax, but I hope in a sense like the actual spaceship thing, I hope that's real because that's creepy. But I think this isn't real. The secret farm. The German explorer Mark from the YouTube channel Mark Binick is on the road with his friend Luke when they discover a completely abandoned old farmhouse in the countryside of Belgium. Inside the home, the two friends find many old photos and portraits of the previous owners, and they discover extensive financial records dating back to the 1970s. Why is that still there though? If there's something being abandoned and it's been bought, so if you buy a house, it is listed in like 
I don't know, it's listed on it. I don't know if it, let's, let's just say, right, I can be completely wrong, but let's just say it had hypothetical reasons, okay? It's kind of listed in a, a government thing, right? So, like, if you buy a property and it's on a list and, like, you get in the property ladder or whatever like that, right? So you live in so like a census kind of thing. Then you die and whatever, unless they were murdered. But even if they were murdered, somebody would know and come around and collect the things that are there. Why are these things still there in the house especially if it's financial stuff wouldn't some sort of accountant take it or it would be reprint like don't reprint is the correct word but take him in by the police or something you know it, why is it just randomly left it's so strange and these that have just been left behind mark and luke have no idea why someone abandoned the house and so many personal belongings after they've explored the property mark uploads his recorded footage to his youtube channel and some viewers are quick to point out something that Mark and Luke just didn't notice. As the explorers try to find a way through the bushes surrounding the property, Mark records something truly disturbing. Here we go inside, let's go from the other way. Is there something in there? Because there's here something in there. See here also a chapel. Chapel? And here's an ingang. Snel gaan we aan de zijkant van dit kapelletje de bosjes in, zodat we volledig uitzicht zijn. En daar moet een heel groot verlaten huis liggen. Did you see it? No. As Mark and Luke are maneuvering their way through the dense bushes surrounding the property, someone or something can be seen peeking out at them from behind a wall. Oh! Mark and Luke didn't see anything at the time and only discovered this creepy lurker after the video was uploaded to YouTube. So just who or what is this? You can watch this full adventure and many more urban think, explorations over on the YouTube channel, Mark Ben Ick. Honestly, I think if um, that per if it's abandoned, especially if the chapel is also abandoned, and even if it isn't, I think it's probably either someone that's homeless, or you know, like a a, a druggy person, person that does like drugs and like you know that kind of thing, like away in the back. And I think that's what they were doing. Um, I'm not trying to like, like say like, oh my god, there's ghosts don't exist because obviously I believe in it. But I'm just saying, I think in that general circumstance, I think that's what was going on. And it's just kind of weird. Like, if there's a lot of stuff in the house, it's just going to attract people that are not able like to have a house or something like that. And they're just going to attract, um, what are they called? And people, uh, squatters. Squatters. They're probably just attracting that. Thanks for watching for extra videos. Okay, well that is the end of the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed it and I do apologise I gave you a fright when I got a fright <laughs> from the, the light. It's still on and it has been on for the majority of the video, um, like I said earlier, but I think I'm going to go and change that and mention to my partner and he'll probably laugh and he probably already heard me being like, what the hell? <laughs> um, so I'm going to go change that light bulb and that'll be fun. So yeah, because at the moment it's like 20 to 10 and depending on um, what I'm going to get up to, I think I might do another video. I was like just eyeing up some other ones that I think I might do and I think it'll be really fun. So um, I shall catch you all later. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day or night, whatever time is in the world, world for you. <laughs> Please enjoy yourselves. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.